Well, I might, I might, um, I might mention that, and before that, perhaps I mentioned Arctic Survival School, and in the course of uh, my Air Force career, I also went through the escape and evasion, the POW training before Vietnam, in the Jungle Survival School, and uh, that that was kind of interesting because. Um, this was 1965 in May, and the school at the time, the survival school, was out in Reno, Nevada. So uh, we, we went through academics for about a week or two weeks, as I recall. Then we went out into the field to practice what we learned in the classroom. And um, you went through a phase of interrogation, and you went through all of the, the resistance uh, training uh, for sleep deprivation, cold, hunger, isolation, all those things. Interrogation, being put into the ground into a box simulating that you're going to be buried alive and all of that. And then you finally end up with the, the, uh, the evasion phase of it, which means that you're paired up two per team in the middle of the night up in the Sierra Mountains and turned loose and you had to find your way to some rendezvous point all the while evading the instructors who were playing the role of the enemy. Is that why they gave you a rapid? Yeah, at some point they did. But anyway, what's, what's funny about it is it was so dark, literally couldn't see in front of you. you. You couldn't see anything. And the trucks were dropping the teams off at the various intervals. <laughs> and it's cold, it's dark. And all you could hear, the voices carrying over the mountain, because we were in these brambles and brush, which you couldn't see, and you didn't know how to get out of it. So you could hear all this cursing through the whole mountain, and everybody complaining about the situation. 